My name is Kathleen Carmody Alexander. I received a Hertz Fellowship in 2013, and I will be continuing my PhD studies at MIT this fall. I, I wasn't one of those people who, unlike a lot of the people around here, who grew up in love with science. I, I can honestly say that I disliked science as a kid. I, I, had no, I was going to be an actress, um, which is funny because I, I hate being at all on camera <laughs> at this point. <laughs> but, um, or I was going to be in policy maybe or education, but science was so far out of my, my interest. Um, however, uh, sustainability was something that I was really interested in. And for many, many years, I, I kind of abhorred technology and I thought like we all needed to go back to, to subsistence farming in order to, you know, to save the planet. And at some point I sort of looked around and really fell in love with technology and, and how amazing we are and the things that we've created as humans. I decided that like this is exactly how I want to spend the rest of my life is solving this problem and, and working on this. And it, I, you know, called up my dad. My dad was a software engineer at the time and I was like, this is what I want to do. And he was like, Kathleen, that you know, that sounds like you want to be an engineer. And I had no idea like what it, what an engineer really did or was because I had just never had any interest in it. And so I kind of made a decision right then and there that I was so sure I wanted to work on this problem that I, you know, after a couple months in the college that I had originally started at, I dropped out and I went to community college and I started over taking trigonometry and taking like high school level physics. And, um, you know, I spent like an entire year learning what most people that go to engineering school learn in high school and then, you know, progressing from there. And I just every step of the way have fallen, you know, more in love with science and the, and the people, you know, the, the giants whose shoulders we stand on that have came, come before us. And I, it just is, uh, I say this word so much, but it's so true. It's so humbling to look at, at what we've inherited and, you know, how lucky we are. People have been talking all day long about, you know, this is the best time ever to study science. And I would argue that forever is going to be the best time ever to study science because we're always, you know, there's, we're always going to be on the brink of something. And that's such an exciting place to be. So I just am so honored to feel like I'm a part of, of that community, the community of people who just want to understand the world and our place in it and how, you know, we can coexist in, and sustainably on, on this planet that we all love.